Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to go over the Dumbbell Bent Knee RDL. This is a movement that we have had great success within our clients in targeting their glutes and hamstrings, and I'm excited to share that with you today. So we're going to get started with Sue in a position without any weight, and we're gonna go over the overall mechanics. To start, she's going to have her feet at shoulder width apart. She's going to start bracing her core, filling the abdomen with air, and then crunching down on that. Her action to get into the concentric is going to be simply driving the hips back while maintaining a neutral spine and neutral head positioning. She is going to only drive her hips back as far as her body will allow her to. She's not going to push her body down further because that's getting her outside of her active range of motion. And if we are getting outside the active range of motion, the tension is going to be displaced onto the lower back rather than the glutes and hamstrings as we want. So, once we have found that positioning and she's able to maintain great tension through the glutes and hamstrings while she's bracing a very strong core, she's going to initiate out of this position by driving her glutes forward and having a co-contraction of the abdomen to keep the pelvis in a stabilized position and keep her spine in the most safe and effective positioning as well. And so that's going to be the mechanics of the movement. And we wanna walk you through as well with weight so you can kind of see that as you would be performing it as well. She's going to find the same foot positioning. She's going to drive those hips back while keeping her core braced, her spine and neck in a neutral position. She finds her own bottom positioning and drives those glutes forward in an aggressive fashion is going to be a very important piece as well. So you're going to initiate by driving the glutes forward and maintaining that neutral positioning within the spine. And that is the dumbbell bent knee RDL. Some common mistakes that we see within this movement is that number one is going to be head positioning. They've been previously informed to look up at the ceiling and this is going to put their neck in a very compromised position as well as put unneeded tension on their spine, increasing their risk of injury. Number two is going to be anterior pelvic tilt. Individuals not contracting their core when they're pushing those hips back and putting way too much excessive tension on their lower back and putting themselves at a very high risk of injury. Number three is going to be getting outside of the individual's active range of motion. Individuals will see this movement as more of a destination, thinking that it's A to B type movement. And so we do not want to just simply touch the dumbbells to the ground. We want to find where you can drive your hips back and maintain tension on those glutes and hamstrings specifically. You do not have to touch the dumbbells to the floor. And number four is going to be letting the dumbbells get too far away from your body. This is going to put unnecessary tension on your upper back as well as be excessively uncomfortable. And so avoid doing that at all costs and keep the dumbbells a little bit closer to your body and over your center of gravity. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other videos, then definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Or if you wanna look at some articles or some different resources, check us out at physiquedevelopment.com or other social channels.